much. Hi guys. I'm exhausted. Because I just walked four miles, guys. Four miles. And I did not plan on walking four miles tonight. <laughs> I actually only plan on walking two miles. Because I was headed to Michael's to grab some art supplies. And something told me that they probably were closed. Because I checked on Google. Google said that they were open. But I said, let me double check. So I called them because I wanted to also see if they had the um, holiday specials going, right? On the canvas boards because I have a new project that I'm about to work on pretty soon. And I called them and nobody answered the phone. So I figured that, okay, maybe they're just busy. But that's unusual for them not to answer the phone. It's very unusual, right? So I called them back again. Still no answer. I'm like, okay, you know what? I'll just take a chance. I'll take a chance. Go out there. <sighs> if they're closed, they're closed. In my mind, that's how I was trying to tell myself, right? But then I get over there. And granted, you guys, I live on the Upper East Side in Manhattan. All the way to the west side. That's two. That's a good two mile walk from where I live. Two miles, you guys. <sighs> I get over there, and I'm looking inside. Even before I, like, <laughs> what's up, Anthony? I get inside, and before I even touch the door, I look inside, and I don't see anybody there. I don't see anybody. I'm just like, oh gosh. Please don't tell me I walked over here for nothing. Now, granted, it's a nice, it's a nice, brisk night outside. It's very chilly, and we are expecting a snowstorm to hit tomorrow in New York City, you guys. Tomorrow, they say it's gonna be a pretty severe snowstorm. I'm excited about it, but it's it's chilly out there. But you know what? On the bright side, I figure you know what? I got outside the house. I got some fresh air, got some good exercise. Four miles, you guys, I just went four miles. Oh, I gotta take a sip to that. How y'all doing, by the way? This is cranberry juice and ginger and tangerines. And I blended it pretty well. And I made sure that I uh, I used a strainer to separate the ginger, the raw ginger pieces from, basically to make it a juice. Because I wouldn't really make smoothies and I would find myself like chewing on the ginger. <laughs> well, I love ginger. It's like sometimes I just like to just drink the juice. But I am a bit disappointed in Michael's. I'm disappointed because great job. Great job for what? <laughs> the fact that I just walked four miles. Yo. And I walked through the park too. I uploaded some videos where I um, walked through the park. Doing great. <laughs> oh gosh. Anyway, so this is not what this video is about. This video is actually about a new type of soap fragrance that I wanted to try. Hemp Tea Tree. Pure Castile Soap. Dr. Bronner's. And it's not my first time trying Dr. Bronner's. I actually tried Dr. Bronner's for the first time, I think. When was this? I think back in May. Wow, it seems so long ago. I moved back to New York City April 1st from LA. So yeah, it was like May, I think, when I tried Dr. Bronner's for the first time. And it was the mint scented soap. And I did do a review on that. Because that shit, 
you guys gotta go watch it. You gotta go watch my my review I did on Dr. Bronner soap, but it was not a good review, you guys. Did I jog? Oh no, because I did not plan on even being out there for four miles. Are you kidding me? I was just walk walking to go to an art store, okay? <sighs> They were closed when I get there. Closed. Okay. Can you imagine walking two miles to a store that's closed? I mean, this it's not two miles, isn't that far, but it is far when I plan on taking a freaking lift back with my art supplies, with my canvas. So I I, well, I didn't really have to walk back. I mean, I could have took a lift, but I chose to just to burn off some energy. So, yeah, the first time was the mint Dr. Bronner's, and then I didn't like it. And then the next one I tried, I think, was the lavender. And I actually like the lavender. And then I also tried the um, hemp rose. Love it. Love it. I didn't get a chance to do a review on the lavender or the hemp rose, but great. I love those, right? Perfect for the entire body. Because <laughs> the mint... Scented castile soap from Dr. Bronner's apparently is not great for the entire body. <laughs> okay, in some places you're not supposed to be using that, right? So then I tried this hemp tea tree. I'm thinking, okay, tea tree. I love some tea tree oil. I use it in my hair. But yo, why does this smell like freaking motor oil, you guys? It's disgusting. You know what it actually smells like? It smells like black seed oil. And I remember I was first introduced to black seed oil back in LA when I was living in um, South Central. I went to this, oh, what is that place called? Taj Mahal. That's what it's called. Taj Mahal. It's like a... Um, like an organic supply store. They sell oils, they sell incense, they sell soaps, they sell everything, right? Organic that you can use for the body and the hair and your house or whatever, right? So I went there and this guy, you know, I was at the counter. He was like, oh, have you tried black seed oil? I was like, no. He was like, here, try some. <laughs> He poured some in the cap for me, and I, like, just threw it back. And I was like, this shit is disgusting. He was like, well, you should follow it with, like, you know, some orange juice or something sweet so the taste doesn't linger in your mouth. But it's disgusting. So I did buy a bottle, not from him, though. I ended up getting a bottle from Hollywood um, from this store I would go to in Hot Body Energy Club. That was one of my favorite drink um, smoothie stores. Or an energy, not an energy drink. It's a, um, what do you call it? It's like a health food store. But I would get, like, just natural um, drinks from there. And they sold the black seed oil. So I remember taking it in the liquid form. But I didn't like it. So I ended up getting, like, when I moved to New York, when I moved back to New York this year, I actually went to um, Nicholas Brooklyn on Fulton Street in Brooklyn. And I got the uh, like a bottle of the black seed oil pill. So you don't taste it, but you definitely can like kind of taste or burp up the aftertaste, right? Like after, you know, it dissolves in your, your mouth and you digest it. Not that it dissolves in your mouth, but you know, you digest it or whatever. And like the burp <laughs> could taste like the black seed oil. But that's what this reminds me of. And let me see, what's in here? I think they pretty much all have the same ingredients, except for, like, whatever scent it is, then you just kind of change out that ingredient. So for this one, it has hemp tea tree. But it has water, organic coconut oil, potassium, hydroxide, organic palm kernel oil, organic olive oil, tea tree extract, organic hemp oil, Organic jojoba, citric acid, and tocopherol. It doesn't say black seed, but yo, this right here. Anthony, where are 
you from? <laughs> you say we are the black seeds. <laughs> what do I use for my complexion? Nothing. Water. This is a, this is a key. It's what you put in your body. I get asked that a lot. Like, what do I put on my face? I, first of all, I don't wear makeup. So I think that, you know, women who wear makeup, they just want to age faster, basically. And they think they're, like, trying to look younger and health, you know, healthier, I guess. But not really, you know, because makeup is superficial, you know. Once you take it off, you see the damage that it does to your face. I never was a person that wore makeup. I always wear bare face. And I don't drink any soda. I don't drink coffee. And, of course, as grown people, they like... I get asked the question, like, what? You don't drink coffee? Because it's so normal, I guess, to drink coffee. I'm like, no, I don't drink coffee. I do not drink coffee. I drink well, lots of water, though. That's my favorite drink. I love water. Anthony, I think you're bored, yo. You're just asking random, random questions. It's kind of self-explanatory questions. But, yeah, that's my review on this stuff here. I am going to use it because I paid $11 for it, and I figure, okay, it's organic. It's natural. Natural meaning from the earth, okay? It's Common, common sense. <laughs> it's like a, I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to end this video, you guys, because I'm just going to relax. I feel like Michaels, I have a bone to pick with Michaels. And I get there, and then there was a note left on the um, window. Sorry for the inconvenience. We will, we will return tomorrow. I think they said at 9 a.m. But there's supposed to be a snowstorm tomorrow. So, in my mind, I'm like, you know what? I should go get some art supplies, some canvas, basically. I already have the rest of the stuff. But I just only went there for a canvas board. So that I could paint. I could use that time to paint. Especially, I mean, granted, I'm going to be working from home anyway. Because I work from home four days out of the week. But in case I don't go into the, to the office on Thursday, I'm figuring, like, oh, okay. I can just, like, get some canvas boards and paint. And it's just, for me, it's how I relieve stress, you know. But maybe tomorrow. I don't like the smell of this, though. I don't. But I'll catch you guys later.